So we've got a 05 uh, GMC Sierra here, uh, 5.3. Now this truck had an engine misfire running rough and you could smell, it, it was running rich, you could smell it. So we pulled the codes off of it and we've got the P01310 sensor low voltage. Then we've got fuel trim system two lane, bank one, engine misfire, and then an EVAP code. So most people are looking at this like, oh, it's, it's running lean, causing a misfire. But that low voltage on that O2 sensor was kind of a flag for us. So we went in and we looked at our live data and we actually had zero millivolts on the O2 sensor. We got to watching it wasn't fluctuating. Every now and then it would jump up to four millivolts. So then we went into our active fuel management data and seen that it was actually dumping all the fuel it could to bank one. And watching live data, you could see all the cylinders on bank one misfiring because they were being flooded. So this, what actually ended up happening was this O2 sensor had went bad and it was reading lean. The truck thought that the cylinders were lean, so it was dumping fuel and by dumping fuel, it was causing the misfire. So that's pretty, pretty crazy how some of that stuff works sometimes. So always make sure you read your, your data because just looking at it, you may think you've got a vacuum leak if you're not, if you don't catch that low voltage. But like I said, in this case, bad O2 sensor, she was making it read lean, so the computer was dumping fuel, causing it to misfire. So we've actually got it changed out now, and we'll see if we can go back. We'll see if we can go back right here and show you the live data on it. And what I'll do is I'll actually pause this video so y'all ain't watching a bunch of crap. All right, so in our live data, so our bank one sensor one, you can see her fluctuating around. Everything's moving like it should, looking good. Um, before, we had a dead zero on bank one sensor one, and every now and then it would jump up to four millivolts. Now, if you go down to our fuel trims here. They're looking pretty pretty decent. So long term fuel trim on bank two is the two, bank one's at two, they're fluctuating. So we'll clear everything out and give it a chance to run and kind of finish smoothing out all that. And depending on how long this has been ran like this, it may actually have a little bit of fuel in the oil, <clears throat> giving some false readings. But yeah, so before <clears throat> our short term fuel trim on bank one right here that's zero, it was 30 or 28 whatever 45 I don't know it was some crazy number I've never seen it was maxed out and it's because the computer thought hey we're running lean we need to put fuel there so now as you can see she's they're happily bouncing around zero on the short term so with them doing that and doing negative it'll eventually bring the long term down on uh, both banks so we're looking pretty good there so now let's take a look her O2 sensor. It's pretty simple, just O2 sensor. Um, on this truck, bank one, sensor one, so driver's side upstream. We had to drop the drive shaft to get to it. And this is the O2 sensor socket that I, I use, 22 millimeter. Now, I like this style because your wire goes through, then on the truck, and Boom. You put your ratchet on there and get it. They've got a longer style where your wire just kind of sticks out the side of the socket as you do it. But in my opinion, there's a lot of times you can't get that where you need to. So this is a lot more convenient as far as I'm concerned. And uh, this is the style I recommend. But whatever works for y'all. Hopefully, hopefully this helps some of y'all. Or at least makes you think a little bit. Because you could be chasing... If you don't pay attention, you could be chasing for a vacuum leak and trying to figure out what the crap's going on, and it's, it's just a bad O2 sensor. And I don't see many bad O2 sensors. The majority of the time, there's something else going on causing the read wrong, but in this scenario, in this case, that's what it was. It was O2 sensor, so simple enough. Hope y'all have a good evening.